I set up the world's largest backpacking ultralight tent. Now it's time to call up some friends. <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> I got my sidekick today, Naomi. She's gonna help me set up this 16 person modal. And as you can see, we're gonna set it up African style. Okay, so this is a 16 person tent. The fact that I'm carrying a 16 person tent on my head is quite significant. Here you see the difference between Russians and Norwegians. Norwegians like to pack light. So you can put this in any backpacking system Unlike that heavy ass built for World War III Russian bear tent, the Norway tent is scrunchable. You don't have to roll it up and cinnamon roll it and pack it all fancy. You just stuff it in the bag. You just stuff it in there. That's what she said. Huh? You ready to go? So this is the tent, this is all it is. 16 person tent. This is by far the biggest tent I've ever set up. In terms of quality of tent manufacturing, Nor Tent is second to none. When you're looking at this tent, it's all sill nylon, so it's an exceptionally light material. People want things cheap, they want it ultra light, and they want it durable. Unfortunately, that item does not exist. At best, you're gonna be able to select two of those things. This is very expensive, but it's also ultralight. In terms of durability, you gotta be a little bit more delicate. Let's bust out the medal. Okay, stand up. I'm gonna hand this to you, okay? Arms out. See if you can lift that up. It's ultralight. Even a kid can carry it. You can do it. See if you can swing it over your shoulder. No, it's a <laughs> No, no, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Trust me. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. <laughs> this is how they do in the old country. I walked for many miles. I'm, am I Russian? Am I Norwegian? You'll never know. So I took the liberty of shoveling this space off in advance because winter doesn't exist anymore. Global warming, high five. Okay, so most of the weight is actually poles. So we got those poles. We got some instructions. We're gonna totally disregard. Because yes. we're men. You're confused. I'm a, woman. <laughs> a woman. So this is more poles. There you go. The rest is tent. And the tent is actually super lightweight. Like, see if you can lift up just the tent. See, you can lift that up, hey? Good job. In spite of its small weight, it is still a very durable space age material called silicon nylon, sil nylon. And you see what I mean when I say it's scrunchable? You don't have to roll it up and do that whole thing. You just stuff it in there. So for that reason, you don't have to use the bag that they provide you. If you're in a entourage of, you know, 10 people and you're all sharing this tent, one person is tasked with the duty of carrying the tent, the shelter and then everybody else can take a little bit of their stuff. This tent is about 20 feet long and about 12 feet wide and about seven and a half feet tall. Now this tent does not come with a built-in floor. We do sell it with the floor, but you have to actually buckle the floor in. Unlike some other tents, you can actually take the floor out. Some people don't like the floor. You're gonna wanna make sure that you budget for a lot of space. So as you can see on the pole bags, there are four different types of poles. There's a the black, there is the white, and then there is the red and there's the yellow. And they all have their individual compartments and there's a slit inside that separates the two. One thing about uh, Nortent poles is they're exceptionally well built. Okay, this is aluminum. Usually with tents, with tent poles, this piece here always catches. But with Nortent, they always make a nice flush pull, so you don't have to worry about snagging. 
and that's a big problem with these. And these tent poles are very heavy duty. They're not your average run of the mill. You can try to put one together. You try putting this one together. Don't let the tent fool you. I'm not overcompensating. I know it probably seems that way. Big saw, big truck. And it's overbuilt. So this tent will still stand, even if you don't have a few of these poles, but it's built for very windy climates. That's the great thing with a dome shaped tent is that it's way more resistant to wind. And I mean, remember that this is a 16 person tent. So you're, you're gonna have a lot of people to help you set this up. But even if you just have two people, it's a breeze to set up. This is my Rocky Four moment. Shoulder press. Yeah. So as you can see there, all the different colors. So, so you get eight poles all together. Okay, so it's got really easy to follow laminated instructions. So the first thing we do, we start with the black poles. And if there's any confusion, the seat is going to be the color of the pole. So the seat is color coded, the tip of the pole is color coded, and the actual channel is also color coded. And so as you can see, these channels are really thick and it's a full channel. So you don't have to worry about some tents, they split the channel. So you gotta, you know, get over and then, but this one feeds all the way through. You know, if you're using this in a very cold environment, you're gonna need a really big wood stove. Theoretically, you're supposed to stake it down to make it easier, but we're not gonna do that because we're stupid. <laughs> ah, it's starting to look like something. So you get these C-clips that are, these are the ones that can join the two poles together at that junction. And so they're very easy to activate. They're like little mini carabiners and you just clip them over like that, push it in, that one's there. And so at every pole junction, there is gonna be one of these. And then of course we have our clips. There's a lot of clips. And every part that's clipped, you can see, there's that cross stitch, there's double stitching, everything is reinforced. CanadianPreparedness.com, that's where you can get this tent. And once you get this thing all clipped together, ain't nothing bringing this tent down. If this tent flies away, you're flying away with it. It's a freestanding tent. With the help of a couple people, you could just lift it up and move it if you didn't like the location you're in. So this part unzips. So you can have a spot if you want for the wood stove. Now, the only thing I don't like about this tent is the, the very tall, this means that you're gonna need a very long wood stove pipe. I guess it's the way they have to make this tent. Otherwise, your wood stove might be too close to the sidewalls, but, and then this way, I guess that heat is centralized. So it's gonna go through the entirety of the tent. You need a lot of stove pipe for this sucker. It's a good thing I brought those extra pieces. Everybody repeat after me. This is scrag. Some people call it twigs. I could die a happy man to know that the etymology of the word scrag is part of my legacy. So we're gonna set up our little oven here. So I made this myself. I made the packaging too. What do you think of the design? I got the graphics artist to, to do this. And we got this here. Look what I got you. Casa mi mama. Casa mi mama. We're gonna put this on here like that. It's cooking with Ricky. There you go. Oh, I guess we should take the plastic off. Now we just gotta put a lid on this, like so. What's up, MTV? I'm about to show you guys my new crib. Come on in, guys. Take a look at this. So what we got going on here, this is the Nor Tent. Modal 16, me and 15 ladies. Right here we have the entranceway. This is the kitchen. Everything stainless steel. We've got our living space. 
lots of room to have a dance party. This is where me and all my maidens chill out on the bed in my dreams. I'm so alone. This is the exercise area. So I do my morning routine. There's actually an inner tent portion here and you can clip the inner tent so you can get that separation. There's our, our heating system, it's our HVAC. This blows all that nice warm air down. Here I got these brand new polyester folding chairs. Luxury. This is my walk-in closet. I got the bug out roll. This of course is where we keep all of our fuel for the fire. All right, so I know you guys wanna see my car collection. Let's go check out the garage. Take a look at this. This is a Pelican 75. I got this on sale, Canadian tire for about a hundred bucks. It slides over snow like you wouldn't believe. This is a power foam, thin film, silicon, amorphous panel. Most people don't even know these exist. This is actually old technology. A lot of the American military tents, while the more sophisticated ones anyways, are gonna have this thin solar panel built into it. And it's great because it's very lightweight. It's flexible, it works even in low light conditions. You can have a shadow disrupting certain solar cells and it will still continue to maintain an output, albeit at a reduced voltage. However, it's just a great solar setup for this kind of situation. You know, the sun's there, there might be some trees in the way. Usually with most solar panels, if there's any part of the cells that are shaded, it's going to drastically lower the output. But with this, it, it actually doesn't matter at all. It's super durable. They are basically actually built to still function even if it gets filled with bullets. So it's pretty cool. I just thought I'd show that to you guys. This is a great thing to add on to a big tent setup like this. If you're going on an expedition, you wanna maintain a constant power source. I'm not sure how well it translates on camera because even in person, this tent from the outside doesn't look nearly as big as when you get inside. There's something about these dome tents. They really look a lot smaller from the exterior, but once you get in here, there is just so much space and you could easily comfortably fit 12 people in here probably if you really wanted to. I understand the layout a bit more now having the wood stove more of a centralized wood stove makes sense to me because if you are going to have people sleeping on both sides then that heat is going to be more evenly distributed well having to carry in a longer pipe could be a bit of a pain in the ass this is more heat that is radiating inside the tent so that heat from the steel is actually creating even more heat in here so even though we have all the doors open right now this stove is actually cranking out some pretty good BTUs. I, I actually do like the design. The four-way access is perfect. This feels like a very solid, durable tent. Even if it was very windy, I could not see myself being too concerned about the instability of the tent design. I would say maybe where they could use some improvement is with the zipper on the floor. I think it would almost be better maybe to have multiple flaps. I'm not sure if, if I like this curved aspect and I think that the zipper could probably extend out a little bit further from the stove. We still have floor. Like I think if you, you only need a small cutout in the floor just for the stove, but I understand why they want to have this here because this is where you can come in. You can be inside the tent. You don't have to take your boots off yet. You have your place for your firewood, you know, that sort of thing. But it does make cooking a little difficult because you have to get your shoes on to come over here to cook. Every single one of these buckles inside, it's all glow in the dark. Just for perspective, I cannot touch the ceiling. I'm five, nine and a half. I can almost get through the door without ducking. The floor just clips in with these orange clips. Easy peasy. You can leave the floor clipped in and pack it up and just scrunch it up. You don't have to worry about having to take off the floor each time. This will add a little bit of extra weight, probably maybe half a pound or something, but not that much because everything is built to be ultra light. There's an internal skirt, so the actual floor, there is not gonna be a gap. As you can see there, the skirt goes underneath the floor. You can guy the tent out. Like right now, we don't even have it pegged down. The design, you know, stability for such a large tent 
is actually very well built. The dome shape is just a very sturdy shape and the way all of these poles interconnect, I'm sure there was a lot of engineering that went into making it maximize its wind resistance. Just the ability of uh, snow to fall on it and the, the amount of weight that it can bear. Because that's the thing with flat top tents, they can cave in. But with this design, I don't know how much weight you could put up there, but I'm, I'm certain that you could have possibly up to 100 pounds distributed up there of snow and still be fine. But the snow, because of the dome shape, is going to slide off. There are these vents on the bottom here. So they have these uh, kickstands. So if you want to get some good airflow. So in addition to the skirt that's on the inside, there's also a skirt on the outside. So this is so that you can put dirt or snow on top of here just to keep the tent more stable, add a little bit of insulation on the ground. That always helps because of course that's where you're going to be losing a lot of your heat. What do you think about this tent? Um, 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10. What would you improve? Would you improve anything about the tent or is it perfect as it is? It's good as it is. Awesome. There you go. It has my little city girl's stamp of approval. That's saying a lot, guys. All right, guys, thanks for coming by and checking out the Nortent Modal. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, and I'm sure I'm going to get 100 comments telling me how bad my Norwegian pronunciation is. But if you want one of these tents and you live in North America, make sure you go to CanadianPreparedness.com. That's the only place you can get this tent in North America. So definitely go check it out. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering what this is, this is a Katana Boy 1000, the world's most powerful Japanese folding saw. You can get that at Canadian Preparedness as well. Thanks for stopping by guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code prepping gear for 10% off. Don't forget the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.